Robert Pierce, a Madison area farmer, decided to get into the industry about 30 years ago. I grew up on lots of stuff. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, whatever goes to, a, you know, a farmer's markets and stuff like that, I, you mm -hmm. know. But like many black farmers across the country, he had trouble even accessing land. Just that process of being able to get loans enough to buy land, just never had enough. He says he feels like discrimination kept him from getting some of those loans. It's a struggle dating back to slavery and broken promises following the Civil War to documented discrimination by the U.S. Department of Agriculture going back to the 1960s. Black farmers have been left out and have significantly fallen behind their white counterparts. This is not just episodic, this is historic, and it's not just a moment, it is something that the entity that was established to support farmers was actually discriminating against farmers. In 1920, 14% of all farm operators were black. As of 2017, that number has fallen below 2%. Here in Wisconsin, just 0.07% of farmers are black. That's just 73 farmers across the state. They haven't been given uh, equitable treatment, not just equal treatment, but equitable treatment uh, when it comes to these types of programs, um, access to these programs. The American Rescue Plan is trying to make up for some of that by offering aid to farmers of color. This is really the beginning of righting some wrongs in this uh, in, in our country, frankly, uh, when it comes to uh, farmers of color. $4 billion is pledged to erase debt for socially disadvantaged farmers with outstanding loans involving the USDA. $1 billion will go towards training and technical assistance. The aid is earmarked for Black, Hispanic and Latino, Asian American and Indigenous farmers. But farmers and experts argue this is just the beginning of the conversation. More support and access to land to begin with are needed. If you can give them some land, you know, and some of the equipment, you know, yeah. or a way in education to show them how to do this. I think that is the way to do this and get by. Ultimately, the goal is to pave the way for the next generation of black farmers. We cannot allow another generation to ask the question of whether or not there will be black farmers, but making sure we provide the support to make sure to ensure that for future generations. So we dug a little deep into the numbers and we found out that in 2017, black operated farms accounted for nearly 5 million acres or just get this a half percent of the U.S. total. The majority of these farms, 85 percent, had fewer than 180 acres.